what's going on guys man i've been recording basically all day thank you guys so much for tuning in once again man for some more hunter hunter um it's been a good journey i won't be finishing up the series today so don't take that as i'm gonna do four today and not and the and the rest later i think it's like i want to say nine episodes left or is it eight i think it's eight <laughs> i think it's nine episode i think i counted the last time and it was like nine episodes because i think it goes to like 148 i think so we're at 139 we're gonna do 140 yeah so we're gonna do about like 140 to 143 today i want to say yeah like 143 i'm gonna do four episodes and then i'll probably do five next time if if that's how it goes so depends uh not sure <laughs> but anyways i don't want to make any promises because as i told you guys it's busy season for me um so i'm not home as often as i would want to be at home so thank you guys so much for tuning in man as always we're just gonna jump into this you know what's going on the selection process to elect the new chairman and also killer will going to get his little sister alika to come and heal gun because she has the um the ability to do so so learning the rules of how she operates um is very intense a lot of people might think she's broken but i think nobody really kind of tried to understand where she's coming i mean they lock her up in a in a freaking dungeon really between four steel gates it's so weird and it's like well it's like they don't know where she came from like ah uh, she came out of your mom man or he came out of your wife man like you know what i'm saying they're, they're making it seem like you know she just appeared out of anywhere and also you guys have let me know that it, it's a debate amongst hunter hunter for years and nobody knows what um gender aluka is you know so Let's go see what's happening here, man. Um, um, and see what's going on here. Um, I think did what? Well, well, let's go watch this, man. I'm here thinking. Um, I'm here thinking about something else. Anyways, let's go do this and see what's going to happen next. And I will see you guys right back here for the review. If you guys don't know, I'm announcing this um after the fact if you watch the intro or whatever um there is a paypal link down in the description now where you guys can go and donate a lot of people have been asking me can i donate to the channel blah 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 all you got to do is click on the link and donate whatever okay so thank you thank you guys so much in advance for whatever you choose to donate to the channel as i said all of it will be invested back in the channel regardless so thank you guys so much okay so let's go watch this let's go see what's going on in hunter hunter all right guys so let's talk about this man there's that was those four episodes was really good man we got to see more of what you know to understand more about Alucard's power, and I'm so happy that Killua is like this now. And if it wasn't for Gon's influence on him, I don't think he would have become this person that he is today. I still believe that Killua has the best character development out of everybody in this story. Um, you know, in the entire story, not for any specific arc, I think um in the entire story he has the best character development um in the anime i don't know what what goes on in the manga you know the continuation from you know from the end of this to wherever it is now but i do believe um killua i mean they killed goto man the coin man they killed him man um i wasn't expecting that i i thought you know I thought possibly that um, Goto would have probably been hurt really bad or something of the sort. But it's like anybody that goes up against Isoka, 
other than gun dies so um isoka and illumi working together is a dangerous it's a dangerous combination them to kill without remorse um them in the association they're trying to change certain rules so that these um hunters that become that are killers don't get as much leniency to operate within the hunters association they get a lot of leniency to kill you know what i'm saying hunters are not allowed to kill other hunters um but apparently you know his and them they don't care <laughs> You know, I mean, the hunter's exam alone should tell you how kind of sadistic these people are because it's like it's so deadly. It's like um, the thing that determines you not passing the hunter's exam is like you got to die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they had people dropping into spikes, um, weird animals, killing them. They didn't care at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're not good enough. You try something, you die. Ain't no safety net here, you know. So, um, so that in itself should tell you what kind of organization is it. There are people who is trying to change certain things within the, the the hunters association, which is good, which is good. But the, it seems like the three guys that were trying to do that just died. You know what I'm saying? They got taken out by, you know, Illumi's puppets or whatever, or Illumi himself, to be honest, or Hisoka. So. There you go. I mean, Kilo is on a mission to save his friend. And also, that punch by Leorio, um, I do believe that Jing could have dodged it, but he chose not to, to dodge it for some reason. I don't know. You know, but that was kind of strange that he took that punch and did not... He saw it coming, and we saw that he saw it coming. I thought he was going to dodge it, but he didn't. But that's a very great way to introduce us to... Um, to Leorio's um, power. And it's a great power to have, actually, as a doctor. It seems like he's an amateur, which is which is awesome in itself. But at the same time, the reason why I said this kind of fits what he wants to do, him becoming a doctor, so it means he could possibly operate without opening up the patient. Think about it. He probably could operate without opening up the patient with which would be a cool thing to do if he could find some sort of invention where he can see what he's doing in there. Maybe maybe him knowing the human body and studying the, the biology of the human body, he doesn't really need to see. I mean, Nen is unbelievable. So, you know what I mean? So, I mean, great power for him to have, you know, Pariston still up to his old tricks, you know what I'm saying? You know, I still don't know what his motive is, but I don't know if he wants to be or if he doesn't want to be. I don't know. He's a hard character to read at this point in the story. Um, but Sabone, very great character. Love her nan abilities. Be able to transform into vehicles. I mean, wouldn't we all want to be that? I mean, other than the fact that, you know... Um, somebody has to you know kind of drive you or whatever the situation is for you know so you can use their aura as fuel other than that it's a great ability you know um so yeah man so they're chasing Killua. they finally caught up with him with um illumi and i like the fact that he that he used her power used the wish to heal Sabone, something he didn't have to do. Sabone is kind of warm. She she really loves Killua because I remember her saying that out of all of them, you know, I think he despised the other the other brothers because they looked like their mom too much or something like that. I remember her saying something of the sort, but she she loves the fact that Killua has developed so well um seeing God's speed and stuff like that. And she's no slouch either, okay? So definitely love her powers, love her personality too. You know, we always got to respect our elders. And she's not afraid <laughs> to call, she doesn't call Killua like, she doesn't say Master Killua. She, she calls him Killua. 
You know what I'm saying? Which is not something that the butlers do because in respect to the Zolik household and who they are, you know, you know, they, they got to, you know, refer to them with respect. They, they, they do have to offer the, up that respect. So great, great four episodes, man. Uh, we only got, I think, five episodes to go. Um, but I'm going to try to finish it up maybe on Saturday or something. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I think those four episodes was really cool. Um, leading up to if Killua gets there to heal Gon, I don't know. I'm guessing they must gonna end it on a good note with bringing, um, you know, Gon back. I mean, the Exorcist showed up and was like, hell nah. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, definitely, man, need something different. Um, need that wishing, but she has to be there to touch. So that's cool. That's cool. That's why he has to bring her over there. So cool beans, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, yes, I'm saying it because I'm very grateful to you guys. Um, very grateful. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these four episodes. Of course, subscribe if you're new. And as always, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terror by Reacts. And I will see you guys next time to finish up this series, man. Hunter Hunter is great. Peace.